questions on the carcass? Are you good? Okay. Now, we got a small class today. We still have a fair amount of meat to cut, so we have to keep moving. wanted to purchase a uh, legs of lamb, you would say, I need a pair of legs as is. Mm. And this is, would be as is. Untrimmed, not split. Untrimmed and not split. That's a typical way to buy. Where would that, like, the whole hind saddle be? Would be a little bit more about the hind saddle would include the loin, the loin up to and including the 13th rib. Mm. Lots of times, because of the size and the packing, they'll take and they'll cut this, and maybe they'll cut the tendon a little bit in here, and they'll tie it down with a rubber band or a piece of string, so it's a little bit easier for them to keep it. Okay? Otherwise, you get the whole thing. Okay, you know, when it comes to lamb, you gotta be really careful. Because it's just not cheap. No matter what you do, it's not cheap. The leg of lamb right now, I think we're in a high force on the leg of lamb right now. That's a lot of money. When you start considering it, what I, what I just threw away was probably three quarters of a pound at, at almost five dollars a pound. Okay? Then we're going to clean this all up. We're going to take the H bone out, the whole pelvic bone out, the hip, the shank. Now, there's a lot of money. Your new fabricated price per pound. For this, could easily hit eight or nine dollars a pound. Yeah. Easily. You can't use any of the fat, can you? Not really. Not really. Not really. So there's your leg of lamb with just the shank off. And I find that in supermarkets, like, the lamb doesn't sell that much either because we get our local shop right and I used to do this lamb shake, braised lamb shake with lentils. And yeah, that's good. Yeah. And it would, we'd get these lamb shakes and I'd bring them, I'd take them out the next day and they'd already be bad. Like, it wasn't the bad, like, lamb gamey smell. It's just that they, they weren't selling. Yeah. And, like, I bought a couple of grocery stores in the Lamb, remember, remember from day one, the consumption level of lamb is at the bottom of the, of the pole, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. It's hard. The only thing less than lamb is game. Yeah. A wild game. So, so try to buy fab, fabricated as much as possible? Or at least well, I it. would say so, because this... You know, there's a lot of fat here. Right. Remember I told you, not only do you have to pay for it, then you got to pay somebody to take it away. Yeah. All right, so that's, that's my biggest pet peeve. Biggest pet peeve is, is having a fat barrel that i got to pay somebody $65 to get rid of. That bothers me. Okay. A lot. So. Okay, so there's your legs. Come in and take the neck off. Yeah, how accurate I am. Sometimes I can get right in there. It's the Atlas joint. Oh no! Off with his head. 
It's already off. There used to be a joke. I used to say, when I did this and someone got very offended, I ended up getting written up for it. <laughs> did it involve decapitation? It did. You know, it was an old, it was an old, old fashioned butcher's joke. A hundred years. Mary had a little lamb and I cut off the <coughs> head. It was a word in between. Okay? And it wasn't the F word either. value. But I want to tell you, you can beat the hell out of something new with this thing. <laughs> and it will never come apart. Especially when it's actually quite long. So I have any entrepreneurial mind that I do that never sleeps. I said, this got to be used for this. My grandchildren were teething and crying like crazy. You ever, have, you ever run around a kid who's teething? Yeah, it's pretty teething. horrible, isn't it? For them? What do you think? Yes, probably, yeah, it would be. So I took a big piece of elastin, boiled it down, got all the junk off of it, made sure it was sterilized. I froze it with sugar water, so it was nice and sweet. The kid didn't have any teeth anyway, so I had to worry about rotting his teeth out, right? I let him chew on it. Well, he was happy as hell. So it's genius. It was. It was wonderful until my daughter came home. <laughs> when my daughter came home, she saw that. It's coming on. She was nuts, <laughs> nuts on me, because she knew right away what it was. <laughs> She'd been around this stuff all her life. The baby starts crying. Give it back. <laughs> Give it back. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and I do. Another failed attempt at humor. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> Hey, and, and we have this all on video so we can make like Chef's Greatest Hits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. no great hits here. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I, end up the, I got the worst jokes on the entire campus. <laughs> but that's my image, you know? <laughs> okay. Trotters. The inspector will look at the bone ossification to help determine the age. Okay. Oh, the other ones. Where's the other ones here? The other ones here. This is called spooling. They actually, look like little spools, don't they? Totally. Right. Spools. spools of thread. Yes. Oh yeah. You know what spool thread? <laughs> okay, let's get these uh, four shanks out of the way. Yeah, let's get these four shanks out of the way. Okay, there's your four shank. And in order to French that, all you would need to do is just go around, go real tight to the bone. I like to use the heel of my knife for that because I'm putting my knife right on the bone to make sure I get all that membrane cut. Okay? You peel it off.
both sides and cut them evenly. It's very important that you cut evenly. between rib four and five. Granted that you're cutting in the right place when it comes to the hand. Always measure twice. Wow. Always measure twice. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Yeah, you know, people can't relate to this. You know? People outside the food world cannot relate to us all when we say, wow, look how beautiful that is. You know, they're looking at, what do you know how beautiful? So you just cut an animal off. Yeah, well, you know what? Look at that marbling. Yep. Okay? Look at the color. Nice to fat coverage on the outside. Look how fresh this thing looks. You know, this is our world. People don't understand us. It's okay. We're special. We are. We are. We make people happy with food. Don't you agree? Yep. yep. That's why we're all here. <coughs> no? I make people happy with sausage. You guys make people happy with real food. We're cooking your sausage. <laughs> what? We're cooking your sausage. <laughs> <laughs> this real food? Wouldn't that be great? <coughs> Wouldn't that be great someday you'll see my name in the supermarkets? There you go. Let's hope. A big smiling mug and I'll be like, I knew that guy. I knew him. <laughs> I knew him. <laughs> I knew him. Best joke ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you won't be saying that, I'm sure. <laughs> you could put a joke on the back of each package. <laughs> <laughs> Failed attempt at humor sausage company? <laughs> <laughs> what a ham. Cool. this again because we are who we are I look at it I look at a nice even split spinal cord tissue on both sides even right down the middle that's the kind of stuff that we look at most anybody else would never understand okay so now there is your square cut chop okay. here's your round bone chops okay. we cut 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 Maybe four, depending on how thick. Turn it this way, and you get your blade bone chops. Okay? About 20 cents a pound more here than here. Whether you're buying them wholesale, retail, whatever. You're always gonna, you should always pay more for round bone than you do for blade bone. Okay. I'm glad I got to see that square cut, because I was doing the definitions last night, and it, the, the cut just it confused me. And now that I'm seeing it in person, I'm like, oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. So this is now a square cut chop. Now remember, if this was a, a hog, okay, it would have been two separate pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
we would have had the picnic and the butt, but we don't have that, it's too small. And even with the <coughs> heels, it's the same as this. Okay, it's the whole shoulder. So somebody's gonna bone this out. One of us, we're gonna bone both of these out. You guys. And you're gonna start to take this apart. You're gonna get up underneath these ribs and you're gonna follow this all out. You're gonna get real nice and close up in here. And you're gonna leave all that eye muscle in. And then you're gonna go in there and you're gonna dig out that femur bone, or that humerus bone. And the shoulder blade, it's all under here. You get in there, you're gonna carve it all out. Then you're gonna clean it all up and you're gonna see how much fat and connective tissue and all that stuff is inside of here. And then you're gonna roll it all back together again. Okay? Alright, so here's your square cut chuck. Now I'm gonna take this apart and see if anybody can recognize this. If this were beef, what would it be? No. What? The no. Absolutely. So it looks like it from the top up. Where did it come from? Is it skirt, Chef? Not a skirt. Brisket. Yes. Not brisket. Said that. Daniel, did you say that? Yes. Brisket, yes. Okay, look how it goes up. You got that second layer up here. You the heavy wedge of fat. All right, don't forget, there's your breastbone. This is the continuation of the brisket. Cool, right? Same thing. But well, what do you do? You gotta get 75 of these things to make something. Out of them, huh? I bet they'd be hella good, though. I bet it'd be tasty as hell. Yeah. Wrap another piece of lamb. And then wrap it in bacon. Because <laughs> lamb and bacon was really good. Nice. How about lamb bacon? Hmm? Let me show you lamb bacon. Yes, please. I don't know. This is, I can give you. I can show you, but this one, this uh, this one is not very big. My one I had this morning was beautiful. Would have made a great lamb bacon. <coughs> but this is not. It's a petite animal. Wouldn't that be the biggest part? The bones are so tiny. The biggest part of it. The brisket, yeah, that'd be the largest part of it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Let me just take a minute here if I can do this. Pick them little beans out of there. Give me a little something special. Here. Those, kidneys. Those are kidneys, yes. Why are they, why are they those uh, kidneys with the. Uh, For inspection purposes. Now, when I've been looking at this, I, I should tell you there should be a cut in each one of these kidneys, a slice that the inspector does to make sure he looks at it for disease. All kidneys veal, lamb, hogs. They're all cut. The inspector does that. <coughs> get a look. Okay. Remember all the fat we took out of the, the beef loin? Mm -hmm. Same thing here. Just on a much smaller scale. Proportionally, it's the same thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Hmm. It's a little yeah. <laughs> Does the lamb have a hangover steak? Uh, it might. Let's see. Okay. Got it? 